Hello everyone and welcome to this, a first look at Tabletop Simulator. My name is Kasanis. Guys, you're going to see a number of new series on my channel. And I'm going to be using these new series to teach my students at Centennial College. In this particular series, we're going to be examining Tabletop Simulator and its use in creating physical or board games. Now, across North America, the universities and colleges have all announced that for at least the fall semester, we are going to be having a remote education as our option. That across North America, we will be using remote education. Now, that's not the same as online teaching. Online and online education is typically done strictly asynchronously, uh, meaning that you study on your own, your professors will mark the stuff you hand in, uh, but you're kind of on your own in, in your learning. That's what asynchronous teaching is. Everything is done without, like not at the same time as everyone being online. We're not going for that. We, we are trying to avoid some synchronous teaching, and we are looking for, instead of online teaching here at Centennial, we are going to be focusing on remote education. And what that's going to mean is we're going to try and give you the same education that you'd have if you were sitting in our classroom. As professors, we've been asked to look into simulation software or simulators of some kind that are going to allow us to give our students that particular experience. Within game, within the game development program here at Centennial, we do a about two semesters worth of board game uh, design. We don't focus strictly on board games. We obviously do digital games and everything else in their first year. But several of the courses in first year are focused on the design and construction of a board game. And some of you might be thinking like, well, I'm not interested in board games. I want to make digital games. Well. It's really important to understand that in that game design is about the mechanics and the systems you create. That's what your game is. Game development is about the creation of assets, it's about writing code, it's about creating sound. All of that kind of stuff is what game development is. But game design is about understanding the rule set or the mechanics that you're creating for your player's experience and the systems that contain those mechanics that present those mechanics to your players. When you opt to design a board game, you still have to create those mechanics and you still have to create those systems that are going to present your game to the player and the, the mechanics that your player will experience your game through. And that's why I think board games are so important. It removes the technology that is, that is maybe standing in your way of creating a game. Right? If you don't know how to use Unity, if you don't know how to use a game engine, if you aren't great at creating digital assets or, or coding, then this is going to allow you instead to concentrate on, as you learn digital stuff, it'll allow you to concentrate on the creation of mechanics and the design of game. That's what board games do. So that's why we focus on it, or that's why we at least include it within the first year of study here at Centennial. Now, normally, in a class that I teach, I teach a, a class that focuses on those ideas. Uh, we explore Dungeons & Dragons as our base game, and we explore the idea of what the mechanics of Dungeons & Dragons are. We ex explore uh, the systems involved and the characters involved and the narrative involved and all the things that make up a game through a physical or you know, a role-playing board game, a physical role-playing board game. In each of my classes, my students also create prototypes. They're given an hour and a half each class where they create a prototype based on a mechanic or a system that I define for them. So maybe within one class I will say uh, you are utilizing a particular game aesthetic. I'd like you to I'd like you to focus on the idea of, of a challenge as, as your game aesthetic uh, from the MDA which we'll, we'll, we'll see if you follow the other series that are going to be new on this channel. So I will give my students uh, uh, something that's, that's, that they have to work within, some constraints they have to work within and they have an hour and a half every week to build a board game to create a prototype from odds and ends that I bring into class. Now obviously we can't do that because my students aren't going to be sitting in class with me. But I'd still like them to go through the rapid prototyping involved. I'd still like them to focus on the idea of a physical game or a board game of some kind in order to display the mechanics or the constraints that I've defined for them. This is Tabletop Simulator and this is what I'm going to be using in my classroom. 
So if you are interested in following along with this series, then I suggest that you get yourself Tabletop Simulator. Now, this series is here, Tabletop Simulator series is here, because I believe that a classroom is not the place where we should be learning software. Sometimes it's necessary, uh, but I don't like classes that are focused in any way on understanding software. Right? I'd rather teach you principles and then have you understand through practical means, through the use of software, uh, how to implement those principles. So what that means is I don't want to spend my hours that I'm going to be teaching synchronously with my students explaining how to use Tabletop Simulator. Right? I don't want to do that. So instead, I've created, I'm going to be creating these, this series of videos that will explain Tabletop Simulator and explain its use in the creation of game. Because Tabletop Simulator not only allows you to play games, but it allows you to create games. And that's what's awesome about it. Basically, Tabletop Simulator is a physics platform. That's really what it comes down to. It has, it has built-in mechanics that allow you to flip cards, roll dice, uh, flick things, throw the table over, uh, all the things that you would do in real life. I throw the table over after every game I lose, but it allows you to do these things that you do in real life in this physics-based system. There aren't, there is options to write code that will drive these, but a lot of it is strictly, let's add some elements to this game, let's add some dice, let's add some cards and, and create a game. And then the rule sets there to allow you to shuffle and, and what have you, all right? So it's really, really awesome. And in fact, there are already thousands and thousands of games that are available on Tabletop Simulator. And the majority of those games that have already been created are absolutely free. They're absolutely free. The game that you are watching in the background, that you were watching in the background earlier, is called Dungeon. It's a game from like the 1980s. Uh, I played it when I was a kid. I found it on here. I was completely shocked that it's here. And we'll talk about where you can get these games afterwards. This first video is just really an explanation <laughs> of what this series is going to be. And it's quite long-winded, and I apologize already for it. Let's take a look. Tabletop Simulator. TabletopSimulator.com is the home page of Tabletop Simulator. You can read all about it right on this page. It'll explain everything you want to know about Tabletop Simulator. All right, they have several games that are, I said are absolutely free, but they also had so, have some paid content. So if you're interested in creating a game, if you think your content should be paid for, talk to them. I am not in any way involved with that. All right, Tabletop Simulator can be purchased from a number of different sources. I'm going to recommend Humble or Steam. So here it is on Humble. Currently on Humble, Tabletop Simulator is selling for $19.79, which is pretty darn awesome. You can pick it up there. That's a great deal. If we take a look at Tabletop Simulator on Steam, it is available here as a single purchase. So for $21.99, you can purchase one Tabletop Simulator seat. And for three times that price, $66.50, you get a four pack. So basically buy one, buy three, get one free. If you are in my class and you are actually taking my class with me, talk to your classmates. I'm setting you guys up on Discord already. Talk to your classmates, guys, and see if they want to you know, come together and buy a four pack because you're all going to need a version of Tabletop Simulator. Awesome. All of the games themselves are available through the Steam Workshop. So here we are on Steam Workshop. It There are a crazy number of games. There's absolutely a crazy number of games. Almost any game that you can possibly think of are, is here. All right. There are 16,402 board games, 6,327 role playing games. All of this stuff is here. It's crazy how much is here. There are There is some paid content and there's some that is not paid. Majority of these games are not paid. They are absolutely free. Any game that you want to try is here, all right? Barbarian Prince was a game from the 80s. It is here. I was absolutely shocked what was here and available. And basically what it is is the community they're creating stuff and they're putting it up online for you for, for free through the workshop itself, through Tabletop Workshop, okay? There's a crazy amount of stuff here, a crazy amount of stuff. Now, Tabletop Simulator doesn't only, allows you to create not only, uh, you know, 2D, ta like 2D pieces, 2D cards and that kind of stuff, but you can import all of your 3D assets. So if right now you're thinking like, well, I don't like board games, if you're thinking that right now, and you are a modeler or you're a 3D asset creator, you can be creating assets that you make available for your games. You can absolutely do that. 
they are actually hiring. If you go back to right now to Tabletop Simulator, uh, right on the front page, let's see if it's here. I saw it a second ago. Did I zoom out of here? Uh, maybe I did. Two seconds ago, I saw it up here. Tabletop Simulator right now. Oh, that's, that's humble. That's why. Let me go to Tabletop Simulator. Bang. Right here on the front page, they're actually hiring coders and 3D artists right now, guys. So if you are thinking, I don't want to watch this series, I hate board games, guys, our industry has changed. This is something we have to all focus on. Our industry has changed. All right. More and more of these things here are going to be options for you. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm not going to keep babbling here. I've been talking for a really long time already. I just wanted to say... <laughs> We are going to be using Tabletop Simulator. This is one of the new series that's going to be on my channel. I'm going to be discussing the use of Tabletop Simulator to begin with, so the use of the tools inside of, of Tabletop Simulator to play games. So I'll go through all the mechanics of it in the first several episodes, and then in the, the episodes afterwards, I will be discussing how to create your own games on Tabletop Simulator. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Keep your eyes open. All of my content is going to be focused on the courses that I'm offering to my students this semester. So there's going to be a ton of new content. I have to have it up here. They have to have some way of doing it. All of my content is going to be available asynchronously. And all of my classroom time is then going to be spent with individual students and, and, and add-on experience. So much more. In fact, I think in a lot of cases, my students are going to get a, a stronger education. They're going to get more education online, all right, I, on, on remotely. I honestly believe that. If you are right now on, this, on the fence about whether or not you should be turn, returning to university or going to college next year, if you're just, you know, just applied to a college, look at what your college is offering. Look at what your university is offering. This is a chance for us to change education. This is a chance for us to take a look at the idea of maybe a flipped classroom where we present to you information uh, asynchronously and then we take the time instead to reinforce. So in the classroom, we take the time to reinforce the ideas that we are discussing. You'll actually, I think, get a very strong education. All right, guys. I'm looking forward to this. I hope you are too. I'm excited. Let me know down below with a thumbs up. If you don't like it, let me know with a thumbs down. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to be offering this content no matter what for my students, but if I'm doing something wrong, if you'd like me to teach in a different way, let me know that down below. All right, guys? Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.